Hey guys, welcome back, Fishing Daily. I'm Bobby, and I'm getting ready to go do some fishing. But first, I had to swap out a reel and a rod. I caught a redfish yesterday that it wasn't trying to catch. <clears throat> and it messed up one of my six gill devices, see. I have to manually push it up. Sometimes it catches, sometimes it don't. And then to mix the casting now, it'll, uh, it'll start making a grinding noise like it's, this is trying to engage when it's not supposed to. <sighs> I thought at first, see, I did it again. I thought at first that maybe when I was casting, I was hitting the, the wheel here. But that ain't the case. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but for the money they were, um, I'm not sure that I'll be buying them again. See? All more. Need to throw it overboard. <clears throat> so, luckily. I had bought two of the same reel for worm fishing. I like using a 6.5, uh, just fits me real good. I'm used to it and I catch fish with it. If I go to something else, I tend to have trouble. I don't know, maybe I'm just a, uh, maybe it's just a speed thing. Um, I'm born to go fast, so it's hard to slow down. Just kidding. Anyways, I'm gonna tie Pal uh, Palomar knot. So if you don't know how to tie a Palomar knot, maybe I can help. <clears throat> so you run your eye through, and then back through. Kind of hard to do it on video. So anyways, you want to pull your tag in back through like so. Some people fold their line in half and stick it through. Stick this in through. I don't like doing that, especially with floral or mono because it kinks it. And if it kinks it, then it leaves a breaking point. So then you want to take these two and you bring them over each other and back through as shown right there. So then you end up with that. So the rabbit over the log and through the hole just as you're tying your shoe and then you want to kind of pull this down a little bit i use the pitch it like that and then you want to run your loop back over your hook that's so and then make sure you wet your knots and pull it down tight Like that. So now you have a double tough knot. And I like the fisherman knot, this is a pretty good knot, but you're only relying on one loop that runs through the eye of the hook. Um, unless you do the modified version where you do several, one or two passes and then tie it. I just, I only use that knot if I'm in a quick hurry, if I get broke off by a jackfish or something like that and I want to get right back in, I'll change up. but. For the most part, I start out with the, the Palomar. And you just go cool. And there you have it. So, so now I have a, a rod with no reel on it. So now I might end up buying another reel. I think it'll be another six gill, so I might need a little buy me in. something else or order me in. a lose reel to put on there or something. It's just throwing a rod away. But it is what it is. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to hit the water. Got the GoPro charging. Do a little evening fishing. It's uh I don't know, probably 10 o'clock or so by now. 
We're just chilling, boat still hooked up from yesterday. I had a pretty good day yesterday. Uh, had seven total plus a redfish that I didn't want. Um, I just couldn't get up a third day in a row. It's five o'clock in the morning. So, we'll, uh, we'll get that going. And, uh, figure something out for the rest of the day. Whew. So, anyway, that's been my eventful day. So, I hope the knot helps. If you need any other content like that, leave a comment and see if I can help out with that situation. Um, I'm going to be doing some muddy water fishing today so might strap some of these on these make good wacky wacky grubs whatever they're called <clears throat> Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna cut it short. I'm gonna run to town. I'll probably go to Dick's and need to get some more black worms. Um, stuff like that. So. so maybe we can do some good fishing. Go pro charger, like I said. So we're gonna get on board with that. In any event, maybe we can get lucky and toss one of them around. Maybe this afternoon. The almanac says fish is gonna be picked up later. Maybe I need to go back to sleep. I gotta throw these over in my good box. I don't have any. anybody else like red hooks. Cause I don't have any luck with them it seems. Hmm. I don't ever have any luck with red hooks, so if somebody wants red hooks, I might be able to hook you up. So if you want a red hook, then uh Stopped in my trash can at the road and threw their trash away. I don't know. Some people's kids. So anyway, if you want a red hook, with this pack of red hooks, then uh shoot me a comment. If you're interested in this, we'll do a, a hook giveaway. Um, so along with the other giveaways, like a touch space on uh, another video, um, I haven't uploaded yet, but, um, I am going tomorrow, first thing, to, um, get everybody's stuff shipped off um, I guess from the last giveaway on March 16th so um, I just hope y'all stuff don't get lost in the mail uh, we all had trouble getting it um, so I'll get that taken care of tomorrow uh, today's the 30th so that'll be the 31st I believe if there's 31 days in this month just so you know where I'm at with this video today. Um, 
So we're fixing to head off into April. Anyways, so for this giveaway, if you want the red hooks, um, drop a comment down there. Make sure you like the videos. Be a subscriber. Um, there's a lot of hot chicks running up and down the road today. What is a freaking marathon going on? I might not have to go fishing. I'll just sit right here. Anyway, so if you want the hooks, leave a comment. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we'll get you hooked up with this pack of red hooks from Monster Bass. Because um, I don't have any luck using them. I've used them in the past. Uh, this ain't even open. So if that's something you might be interested in. Um, like I said, touch base on all that. And we'll get you hooked up. Anyways, this is Bobby Monster uh, Bass Box giveaway for these hooks. And uh, we're fishing daily, so we'll be fishing this afternoon, and I'll be recording all that. So y'all keep it real, stay cool, stay away from the coronavirus, and uh, we'll catch y'all later.